welcome back to Leona's Table. So this week on our row, which is basically our recipe of the week, we're gonna go ahead and we're doing pickles. Specifically on how to go ahead and can your own pickles. If you've never done that before, not a problem. This is why we're doing it. I went ahead and I got started on sanitizing all of our uh, little mason jars ahead of time, mainly just because it just saves some time. And plus if you've already watched the uh, recipe for how to make jam, you know that it's gonna take roughly uh, 10 to 15 minutes to go ahead and really sterilize the jars. And I just didn't feel like you guys would wanna sit through that again. So, went ahead and skipped that step. Um, didn't really skip it, obviously, because we need to sanitize the jars, but went ahead and kind of just stepped over that so that way you didn't have to watch it again. I am gonna show you, though, how to go ahead and create the, um, I guess the brine for the pickles. So we're gonna go ahead and do equal parts of water and vinegar. Uh, so you can either do distilled vinegar or you can do apple cider vinegar. Today I'm doing apple cider vinegar. Uh, in the past, uh, traditionally I have done uh, distilled vinegar, but figure, you know, kind of just try different things out. And plus I think the apple cider vinegar gives it a better flavor too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna add our water to that. Go ahead and set our stove to about a seven, just to kind of heat things up and get it moving. And like I said, it's equal parts vinegar and water. So we're doing our apple cider vinegar. So I wanted to show you guys just so that way you know for sure. Like I said, you can either do apple cider vinegar or distilled white vinegar. I mean, I'm sure you could do any other types as well, but those are the ones that I'm familiar with when it comes to making pickles. Another thing is, is salt. So you can use regular table salt I have before as well but I would also suggest that you go ahead and you do a canning or pickling salt in particular. Uh, these are meant for pickling and these are meant for canning. So it's just gonna be a little bit stronger, um, just give it more flavor. So do that guy. If you can't find it, it's okay. Like I said, table salt is fine too. One and a half t uh, tablespoons of kosher salt, uh, not kosher salt, I do apologize, the canning pickling salt. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that into our pot right there. And traditionally I have always used a uh, pickling spice that you find in stores. However, I can't find it anywhere. Um, my HEB that is up the block from me has been out of it for the last month or so. So I'm assuming that everyone's making pickles right now. So, I mean, good for them. We all have to try and keep our sanity, right? Um, so, went ahead and made my own little spice mixture. So it is um, a tablespoon of black peppercorns um, and then a um, teaspoon of red chili flakes. So not really much to the mixture. You can add more if more things if you want. I will also be adding a bay leaf into the mixture as well. Um, but there you go. So you can see there's really not much to it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that into here as well. Let's go ahead and use our handy dandy spatula. Get the rest of this out of here. And then I also added just a little bit of sugar in there. So when I say a little bit, I added a half of a teaspoon in there. I know not a lot of pickle recipes are gonna call for sugar. And if there are, it's usually for sweet pickles, which I won't lie, I find really gross. But I felt like I needed to add a little bit of something to go ahead and cut the acidity just a tiny bit. Even though we do want a good amount of acidity for the pickles, we don't want it to be overbearing. So. I went over here, like I said, with our mixture. 
And since I went in and uh, sanitized our jars already, we don't really have to worry about that so much. But here are our pickle chips right here. I went ahead and did pickle chips, just, just preference, honestly. You can do pickle spears if you want. Heck, you can even do whole ones if you're able to find uh, little baby pickles or little baby cucumbers anywhere. Honestly, I have a hard time finding any of those pickles. So I was able to find little uh, baby English cucumbers. So went ahead and got these guys and cut them up to about a half inch thick. They're pretty thick. I wanted them to kind of maintain their crunch and uh, I guess structure. But I went ahead, as you can see, and I added five cloves of chopped up garlic. I know that's a lot for some people, but I love garlic. So you can do as much or as little as possible for yourself. It's all a matter of preference. And then I went ahead and I did one whole jalapeno as well. I chopped it up super duper fine. That way it can go ahead and just kind of meld in there because we're doing spicy pickles today and I love spicy pickles. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. As you can see, I went ahead and got one of my jars all set up right here. It looks beautiful, right? We're gonna add our dill into it and then we're going to add our brine once it's done melting together, all delicious and ready. And then we're just gonna throw it back into the pot, have it go ahead and um, just kind of sit in there, chill in there for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And after that, we're gonna be set. So with these jars, I realized that I forgot to tell you exactly how many of the cucumbers are actually in here. So there are five baby English cucumbers in there. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure that you knew exactly how much this is, why it's only yielding two. But this is just a tutorial video. I don't need to make dozens of jars of pickles, so we're gonna go ahead and do just two. So it worked out perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and come over here to our lovely little brine. Oof. I wish you could see in there closer. So now that that is all nice and stirred up and ready to go, we're going to take our funnel and we're going to plop that guy right up on here like that, like so. And we're just going to funnel this in there. Try and get this closer so that you guys can see. So being careful not to burn myself in the process. All right, there we go. I'm gonna scoop out some of these extra black peppercorns and put them back in here because we just dumped all of them into here. We want the flavor, but we don't want that much. All right. So now we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna get our lids. I'm actually gonna add just a little bit more liquid on top. I'm gonna go ahead and cover those guys on top. We don't wanna forget about them. There we go, there's jar number one. We're gonna come back here and do jar number two real quick and then we're gonna add them back into our bath. So that way they can do another little nice soak in their little jacuzzi for another 10 to 15 minutes. Glad you guys are paying attention. All right. 
right, so now that these are fully sealed, they're going to go back into their bath. First, I have to show you guys. Look at that. That's great, right? So, like I said before, this will become fully pickled within 11 days. Um, I ran out of pickles recently and I was very, very bummed because last time I made pickles, I went on the pickle frenzy and made so many jars of pickles that I didn't know what to do with them and I just gave them away to everyone. And then I had none for myself. And so this time I'm keeping one for myself. So as you can see, our lovely little pair is just chilling out in the hot tub together. Reminds me of that scene from Napoleon Dynamite, which I know I'm totally aging myself by even referencing Napoleon Dynamite now. But when Uncle Rico is just like, I'm just going to sit in a hot tub with my soulmate. This is what this is right here. Just sitting in the hot tub with your soulmate. And I also realize, you guys, that this pan is so dangerously full that I'm going to end up just boiling over at this point. I'm going to have to scoop out some of that water. So we are just waiting for our last minute. It is the final countdown and if I felt like singing the song, I would. Who am I kidding? It's the final countdown. And we are now down to our last minute, you guys. So what that means is we're gonna go ahead and once these are done, in their little hot tub soak. Remember, it's been 10 to 15 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transfer these guys over onto our little mat over there. Let them chill. We're gonna wait for a loud audible pop, as you can remember from whenever we did our jam. Uh, basically what that means is that it's completely sealed up, it's airtight, there's no chance for any bacteria to grow, no chance for any foodborne illnesses or anything, it's just set. However, here's the, here's the caveat to that. It will remain shelf stable for up to a year if unopened. If we do open it, it will last up to three weeks. So if at any point within that three weeks that you see that it starts to just look a little funky or anything, or it's got a weird smell, I mean pickles have a weird smell anyways, but if it has a weird smell or anything like that, let's go ahead and turn this guy off, or if at any point during its shelf stabilization you see that it's changing color or just something doesn't look right, go ahead and toss it out you guys. There's no need to risk getting sick, there's no need to risk eating bad pickles, like why, why would you do that? So we're going to go ahead and move this guy out of here now that he's had plenty of time to get acquainted and once that's done like i said wait for the loud audible pop once that has done uh it's deal and popped and all that wonderful magic that it does we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna store it we're gonna write our dates and what's all in them because come on you guys, we gotta be smart. We have to date everything so that way there's no guessing games. We take out the guessing games out of everything. So, move this over there and we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's short and sweet and to the point. Um, I just really wanted to show you guys how to make pickles. It's important. I feel like it's something that everyone should learn how to do. And plus it's fun because how often are you gonna find fresh homemade pickles, realistically? So, I hope you had fun. I hope this was a good learning experience for you. As always, stay safe, be kind. I'll speak with you guys soon. Bye.